Hi everybody. So I've been having some thoughts. I heard this great analogy last week and it's been really stuck in my head. And I wanted to share how I think about it and how it's helped me in my journey. So the analogy is this. We are all lions or gazelles, right? But when we think lions and gazelles, we think we have to be the best lion out there or we have to be the fastest gazelle out there, right? But the truth is, the gazelle doesn't have to be the fastest. If he wants to survive, he just has to be faster than the slowest gazelle, right? And same thing goes for the lion. The lion doesn't have to be faster than the fastest gazelle. He just has to be faster than the slowest gazelle, right? So it uh, really made me focus on that analogy and really, really, truly analyze how we live our lives as both gazelles and lions, right? And you can say, well, I'm a gazelle. Okay. You know, um, some people were, you know, are softer, kinder. Um, they're not as aggressive as other people and, you know, how they approach life. Fine. But we're not saying be so focused that you have to be the fastest. No, you have to be just focused enough, fast enough to outrun the slowest gazelle so you don't get eaten today. That's all we're saying. And also with the lion, um, there's a lot of people who really like to chase and really go for their dreams. But we think in this grand gesture of life that you have to be the best, fastest, strongest, most fierce lion, right? But you don't, you don't have to. You can be just a little extra fiercer than the slowest gazelle. So that analogy makes me think of um, all or nothing. You know, this this society really is an all or nothing kind of uh, society. We think um, either gonna give it all my all for New Year's and be so fit and go to the gym and eat super healthy and then what happens uh, three weeks, four weeks later? Nothing. You know, you go for all or nothing. So you end up at nothing. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be, um, I don't have an hour to work out today, so I'm just going to not work out, right? No, it doesn't have to be like that. You can give it 50%. You give it 20%. So if your regular workout is an hour, why not do 20-minute walk when you get home? you know, around the block. Why not park really far at Target and walk in and really, um, you know, pace yourself so that you have a fast pace and really go through all the store quickly. And you got, you know, three, 4,000 steps in extra rather than saying, well, today I didn't have time. I'm just not going to try. Same thing goes for eating. Um, we think, um, you know, uh, I'm going to be super healthy, you know, no carbs, all healthy, all salad, all chicken. But what happens after that? We really can't maintain that lifestyle. We have to have a little of everything. Um, you have to give yourself the, you know, just those treats all the time. And if you're going to have a cake, sure, have a cake. I have cake. But it doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can have half a slice. You can have three bites. If you were going to have two slices, why not just have one? Um, you know, it's just a matter of thinking. If I'm going to, you know, go to a party and have everything I want later, why not have a salad for lunch? Why not, um, you know, walk for 20 minutes? Why not um, do a Zumba class today? You know, think about that. Think that it's not always all or nothing, you know? It's all about consistency and just trying. Remember, gazelles, you just have to try a little harder than the slowest gazelle. So keep that in mind. Uh, really focus on, are you a gazelle or are you a lion? And focus on not all or nothing, but just giving it a try. Yes? All right, you guys have a good day. It's beautiful, enjoy the day. I'll see you soon. Let me know if you have any comments. If I, this helps you, I hope it does. Um, stay strong. I know you can do it and keep up the good work.